Hi folks, I realize it's been a while since I've done any videos on country living on a shoestring, but I just have a small one for you tonight. This is a very practical one, uh, but it's something that I had to do recently and it took me a little while to figure it out, so I thought I'd pass along to you what I learned. I needed to change the battery in my Armatron uh, watch here after a couple of years it just stopped uh, this is a steel case uh, analog as you can see but it's a, a battery operated watch of course and um, the way to do that we needed to get the back off to get at the battery this particular watch um, the the clasp doesn't oops I'm trying to watch the video versus watching the watch here the clasp doesn't uh, come apart to make it lay flat so it's a little trickier to do but not real bad now what I did first was I had to flip it over and and I've already done part of this so that's why this doesn't look the way exactly the way it would this plate on the back is what secures the battery in place and the works of the watch are in there of course and um, so the first step was to, I'm going to just kind of reenact this here. I laid it like that. I had to pry that back plate off of the watch. Now the problem is there's just a tiny little groove between the back plate and the back of the watch to try to get something in there to pry it apart. And it's very, very tight, which it's supposed to be because there's actually a little uh, rubber gasket or grommet or o-ring or whatever you want to call it in there to make the watch waterproof and in fact I saw online that there's actually a special knife type device that uh, jewelers watch repair people have to pry it off well of course I didn't have that so all I did is I took the small blade of my uh, Swiss Army knife and I got it, let me turn it this way so you can kind of see the way I did it. I got it in the corner here. Seemed to be a little bit better of a grip there. Some of these watches have a little notch where you can actually dig into. I've had Armatron watches, they actually had little indentations. If you had a specialty tool, you could turn them off. This one doesn't turn off, it just pops off. Um, let me turn a little more so you can see it a little better. So what I did was I just got the knife blade under there and kept prying at it. Of course, I had to hold it and hold the, hold the watch down while I was doing it. And eventually I got it to pop off. So it was not that easy. I was afraid I was going to bend or damage the, the blade on my knife, but I didn't. So that was good. So I got that off. Here I can show you. And as you can see... This is the way it went. Okay. As you can see, I hope I'm doing this in a way that you can see that there. And the inside, there is a little white uh, insert. It's plastic. And behind the insert, let's see if I can show you this. You can actually see it right. This darn band gets in the way. Right there is the battery. So to take the battery out, it's fairly simple. Let me just lay this down here again and see if we can do it that way. No, it just it wants to be in the way. Um, all I had to do was to pull this uh, white uh, plastic insert out, which was no trouble. I mean, you can probably get a little pliers or whatever. I just pulled the tweezers out of my Swiss Army knife. And uh, I'm trying to do this with the camera in front of me, sorry. And it just pulls off like this. It just comes right out like this, okay? And you can see here where the tab is on it that the battery is behind. The battery is just this little silver... Let's see if we can get this up that you can see it better. This battery is just this little silver medallion in there. Let's see if I maybe if I turn it this way, it'll be easier to see. I know I'm dealing with some light issues here too. 
right there and that comes out fairly easily you can either just use the the blade of, of the knife like I did or um, maybe a little uh, precision screwdriver I have a precision screwdriver set just it pops right out the one that this particular um, watch uses was an Energizer 377 no problem got that at Walmart no no issue it was a two pack for like seven bucks I think um, and put it in and the watch is now ticking now the issue was how do you put it back together again well first of all to put this plastic insert in was no trouble you just have to make sure see on this side it's notched that that's where this goes where the stem of the watch is so that I should have this camera over here kind of like where my head is I'm trying to do this on an angle and I apologize maybe you can see it a little better that way all I have to do then is put this back in so that it sits down on there and the notch is over the stem and also the little tab is on top of the battery and that's all that it takes you just push it down in not a big deal now comes the tricky part and this is the part that I'm gonna try for the first time and you're gonna watch me do it uh, but this is suggested to me to put the back back on if you look here really closely I don't know how if the camera's gonna pick this up or not right along the edge there you can just make out the tiny little rubber gasket that is uh, on the back of this or around this back panel to keep it waterproof so what I'm going to do and this was suggested is push this back on put it in place so that it's where it belongs but it takes more than the force of just your fingers pushing down to pop it back in place it's got to snap back in place and because of that uh, they actually make a watch press that's kind of like a uh, uh, like a, a, a punch a, a, a handle punch or a no, I don't know what else. Uh, I've seen other things that have handles on that they it bears down like a uh, a seal um, when you want to put a seal on documents and things. One of those hand pushing devices um, to to do that. So, but I don't again don't have that. So here was uh, another option that was shown to me, and you're going to get to see me do this as uh, I try to do this to finish off this. Re replacement on my watch now again I know this isn't the greatest but the first thing that they suggested was put a towel down so that you protect the face of your watch you don't want to scratch it or or damage it in any way because I'm going to be putting significant pressure then what I want to do is I want to not push directly on that metal because for one thing I can't get enough pressure right there because if you look here where the pins hold that hold the watch band in place are there are these ears these four ears and they kind of stick up up from the back a little bit I don't want to push on them at all because they have nothing to do with what I'm trying to accomplish here uh, that won't push the thing down I need to get as much pressure as possible right down on the top of this plate but I don't want to damage it so one of the things that they suggested take some type of a cloth I'm just using a handkerchief here I hope this will work let's see if I can it's almost too big for what I want to do but we'll try it take a little piece of cloth here and cover the back plate with it Again, you're watching me do this for the first time. I want to make sure that my my back plate is as centered as possible. Now, the next thing I want to do is I've got to figure out how I can put pressure on that 
without getting those ears in the way. And they suggested taking some small piece of metal or plastic or something that would raise up your point of impact when you're pushing down on it. So I'm just going to take two or three quarters here. I don't know how many it'll take. And I'm going to feel my way that... I'll try two. Let's see if that works. Feel my way to where is the back plate. Okay. I want to try to center them over the back plate so the pressure goes straight down. And that when I push on it, I'm actually pushing the quarters down onto it. Let me, well, let's do a third one just in case. Won't hurt, I don't think. And then I will cover them up. This almost looks like a magic trick. <laughs> I'll cover them up so that, um, again, I'm trying to protect as much as I can here. Then the, the um, way to do that is, and I'm going to have to turn this this way a little bit, I think so that I can do it, okay, is you take a board like this or some something similar that you can actually exert pressure on. I'm going to put that through here and bring it straight down on, feel where I am to make sure I'm where I want to be, and I'm going to push down, and I don't think I pushed hard enough or if I'm where I need to be exactly. I'm going to have to move around here perhaps. So that when I'm pushing down, I'm not quite centered, I don't think. It's going to give enough pressure to push down on the, the, uh, the back panel so it'll pop back into place. Let me just double check, make sure it was where I wanted it. And did I? No, I did not get it. It's still loose. So let me try something perhaps a little smaller. But I'm not seeing anything a little smaller. All right. Let's do this again. Remember, I want to make sure this is about as centered as it can be. I'll just do two quarters this time. Perhaps a solid piece would have been better that it doesn't slide around at all. try it without putting the, the handkerchief on top of the quarters. And then just push down. Now it's supposed to work, but I don't know if it did. Nope, it's still loose. And I'm not sure why there's no um, certain direction or anything that this has to be put on as long as it's straight above. Well, let me try it. I'm, I'm going to turn the camera off now for a bit and try it a few times, see if I can get it. It's Again, it's an experiment. Okay, success. The fooling around with the uh, handkerchief and the extra quarters was probably not necessary. As you can see here, let's see if I can do this so you can see it. The back's in place, it's solid, and the watch is running. Here's what I ended up doing. You can see the indentation from the face of the watch where I pushed down. Basically, just like I was showing you before, but I had this little piece of it's like a felt bag of some some I forget what was in a piece of jewelry or something, nothing nothing expensive. Um, I just set this on there rather than the whole uh, handkerchief. And I just used one quarter. Just set it right on there like that. Again, pushed down with this board evenly both sides, straight down hard, and I heard a 
a, a snap or a pop, if you will, when it sealed. So that's all it took. I, I was overdoing it, I guess, with these other quarters and that other piece of cloth. But it worked this way. So now I'm good to go again. Sorry about all the extra footage in this video. But I don't do a whole lot of editing on this site. So now my watch is ready to go. It's ready to wear. I just need to set it. And I'm good for probably another couple years. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, you know, not everybody wears watches anymore because everybody relies on their phone. But uh, if you have a steel-cased watch like this with a, a battery, a lithium, I guess a lithium battery, um, it is going to need to get changed every so often. So there you go. Just another little tip, a cheap way to do a repair, didn't have to take it to a watch repair place to get it done, or have some fumble-fingered uh, employee in a, in a jewelry department in a department store uh, trying to figure out how to do it and damaging the watch. So um, that's what we've got. So thank you for watching. We'll try to get some more videos going here again. It's been a slow time, I realize, but we'll get back at it. And we'll keep giving little tips and experiences of living out in the country on a shoestring. Thank you again for watching. Please like, subscribe, do the other stuff that you know the routine. Thanks again.